Yo, what's happening? I'm gonna be doing the second step in my mead making process. I'm gonna be racking the mead and adding some fruits. To one three gallon carboy, I'm gonna be adding grapes, red, and green. And to another three gallon carboy, I'm gonna be adding some oranges. Once again, I'm making sure everything is sanitized. For this, I'm using my old Mr. Beer 2-gallon fermenter. I drop in the two carboy plugs, the caps for the airlocks, the airlocks themselves, A knife for cutting up my oranges, and my auto siphon. I'll pump it up a couple times to get the sanitizer flowing through the tube. I like to use a rag soaked with the sanitizer to wipe off the countertop where I'm going to be cutting my oranges. and also the cutting board that I'm going to be using. I always wash off any fruit that's going to be going into the mead. With the sanitizer rag, I wipe down the parts of my auto siphon that aren't submerged into the sanitizer. If you're not careful and you pull out the hose with sanitizer running through it, this will happen. Hey, sometimes it happens. Here's one of the carboys that the meat is going to be going into. Using that auto siphon in the sanitizer, I fill up that carboy to get it sanitized also. It takes a bit, so I'll kick back and drink some mead. Now I'll pop in the carboy plug and shake it up to make sure the sanitizer touches every part of the carboy. I dump the sanitizer back into that two gallon fermenter so that way I can use it for the second carboy also. And I'll just repeat the process for the second carboy too. I sanitize the hydrometer too so that way when I check it I can pour that mead back into the fermenter.
Time to cut up some oranges. I'm a professional from my time spent in the restaurant. I cut the pieces small enough so that way they fit in easily, and that way they also come back out when it's done. Now the grapes I can just add in whole, and they always add plenty of flavor that way. I gotta make sure to take some floof dog training breaks, of course. Now I'll take a sample to check the gravity. The original gravity was 1.079. Now it's at 1.038, which puts the alcohol content at about 5.38%. Still a ways to go, but it'll keep fermenting even in the carboys. Now it's time to start filling the carboys with the mead. Once you get it going, you can just let it flow. You gotta be sure to keep an eye on it though, you don't want it to fill too much or overflow even. It does take a while, so there's definitely time to have some mead. Or maybe even chill and have a nap. Now time to do the grape one. As you get to the bottom of the fermenter, it'll definitely start to slow down. So I'll usually have to tip the fermenter, but I'm careful to keep any sediment on the bottom from going into the carboy. I never fill too far up the neck because sometimes you'll get some foam and it'll come right out of the airlock and cause a huge mess. This bottom bit is mostly sediment, raisins, and tea bags, so I just end up dumping it out. Not too shabby. Now I'll pop in the plugs on both. The airlock's filled about halfway with water. And the caps on top of those. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.